Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the Legendary Iron Man Army of Two run. We are trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only two soldiers per mission. It is time for another ambush and I have been looking forward to this quite a bit. This is going to be Hogbite and I don't know who the other soldier was that we have put onto this mission, but I'm pretty sure Hogbite can almost solo it by the time. I am. I was missing the Templar gameplay, so let's get right into it. It's one of my favorite classes. It's right up there with a specialist, and it's just it's so much fun if you know um, the limits of the class and how to play it. So, yeah, and specifically with the chosens uh, that are uh, that are now and uh, not the chosens, the uh, lost that are now going to join us in this mission. It's gonna be fun. It's yet another ambush mission. Easy way to get some more experience under uh, our belt. I think Hogbite by now is already either a major or a colonel, so he doesn't need the uh, the extra experience if he would be a colonel. I'm not sure. Either um, major or colonel. But it's never, never a bad idea because this mission could also trigger a potential loot drop and so far we we never had really the time to collect any of the loot so we're pretty sparse on the whole PCSs and um, weapon modifications we were buying them mostly with Intel which is one way of doing it but yeah it's I guess the price that you have to pay for playing only with two soldiers anyways it's going to be the lost as always we're going to find ourselves in a situation where at the beginning of this mission um, there is, we are going to be dropped upon. Oh boy! Nice time. There's a major FPS uh, lake. Okay. You've got no time to waste. Break cover and move to the extraction point on the double. So we're going to be dropped upon, and Cyber, another another operative, has joined us here. It's going to be a great. Great starter. Let's first and foremost get into position. Out. Cyber moves in. Hawkbite moves in. The power guides me. Twenty hit points. This guy is a machine. Great ones, your team is compromised. We're picking up Advent response forces inbound on your position. Well, that sucks. And yeah, no one likes to be compromised. Now. Holy shit. Yeah. That's going to be fun. It's far, but I can reach it. Yeah, we're standing right in the middle of uh, their drop spot. And we're going to overwatch. Let's see what they drop onto us. Captain and two soldiers. We missed uh, with the overwatch shot. But the blade storm does not miss. Lovely. Lovely. We're going to keep our lightning hands. I do have an idea what we're going to do. This here... Well, we're not keeping our lightning hands. We make sure that the plan that I have is actually going to play out well. So, hot bites moving here. I don't know why exactly he's floating above the ground. I mean, he's good, but he's not that good. We're lightning hands. Shooting right into the face of this captain. Alright. Time for Reaper. Yes, please. 
Right there, solid kill. And yes, people are now going to suffer your rage. Damn right. Suffer the true force of our will. Sure. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, why the fuck not? Let's summon a ghost. There we go, baby. Hogbite is going to carry the entire run by himself. Or oh, this entire mission here by himself. Good to go. Affirmative. Covering now. Got the Templar Ghost. Are you kidding me? Templar Ghost even as Reaper. How is that fair? <laughs> okay, it's going to be a hilarious um, run. Okay, let's not get too cocky though. I mean, Hogbite is really, 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 really good. Oh, wait a second. The Templar Ghost has Bladestorm, and Bladestorm doesn't consume his focus because all of the abilities that he's using us with is going to consume his focus. So we can technically park him next to an enemy together with the Templar, and they will both just. Oh. That makes it so much better. They will just both uh, Bladestorm uh, the target. Oh my gosh, this is going to be fun. Getting out. I'll maintain my watch. I'm on it. Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be very strong. By the way, what's our rank? Oh, it must be Colonel because otherwise we wouldn't have uh, the we wouldn't have the ghost ability. But we still can get um, ability points from shooting from high ground. Overwatch. I want to see if if this here is actually triggering Blade Storm. Okay, let's see. If Blade Storm is triggered and there's no loss in energy from the ghost, then this is not only incredibly imbalanced, but it would also be like the the clearest way of um, of beating the chosen. Did he just not lose any? Okay. Now imagine Hogbite alone against the chosen, and after every single turn, Hogbite can turn on Perry. The clone will just stand there. They will focus on Hogbite because he attacked. And as a retaliation for doing anything, the Chosen will take two Blade uh, Storm attacks. Mind you, both of them are immune against explosives, immune against uh, mind control. Only thing that could take the clone down 
is uh, actually if it loses its energy. This is so imbalanced. I like it. can't fully reach um, the mech, which means we are making sure that the Templar Ghost just will not be killed immediately, and the Templar hides behind full cover. Overwatch, hunker down, which means the mech would now need to shoot into full cover plus hunker down. I need to correct my further uh, pre previous assessment. The ghost seems to be not benefiting from immunity to immunity to. Um, to explosives. Apparently that's not a thing for it. But the ghost very much can attack. And parry. That's okay. be missing blue screen rounds here. Copy that. We might be missing blue screen rounds here. Let's get out of line of sight because I don't want to take any damage on Hogbite. Need to be better, better be safe than secure uh, than than sorry. That's the parry, and there will be another attack. There is the blade storm, almost killing it. Bad idea, guys. Oh my gosh, the ghost is strong. Well, so much for the swarm of of loss. Building up some nice little focus right there. Oh, I forgot. Oh my gosh, that was that was pretty stupid. I I for a second forgot that uh, the mutants are pretty much immune against melee attacks. <laughs> That was actually really stupid, but luckily it was only the ghost.
Nice little parry. That would be a 50-50, which we do not want. We're instead taking a plasma grenade. Shredding him. Five points of damage. That's four to seven, three to six. I think we're going to go with a vault and just kill him. There we go. Alright, moving into full cover. So far we are doing very well. Of course, that's, uh, that's the moment when you are jinxing it. Let's kick in some Reaper. The reason why I needed to kick in Reaper is because, fortunately, although they should, the kills do not uh, automatically reset melee attacks. There we go. Nice little cleanup right here. Yeah, let's make sure we're not just pulling another pack or something. There's one more Advent Soldier somewhere in here. It is a mutant. There is the aid protocol. Standing in full cover here. That's a little overwatch from behind. I will end you. The error is mine alone. Well, that would be a normal strike. We don't want to do that. Let's instead use a vault. Nice uh, seven points of damage. Sometimes he even gets. Um, he even gets. Uh, dis, uh, disorientated uh, by it. Hogbite. His only um, real counterplay are mutants. But even here, I think he d does fairly well. One is very close. I'm okay with that. We got some nice little loot. Superior Oddloader is good. That's some extra intel and an Alarium Core. 
So yeah, the mission overall was helpful. Orders confirmed. On the move. Ready to engage. Let's reload. Maintain and overwatch. Interestingly enough, I think Hawkbite could stand here all by himself and they wouldn't even hurt him. I'm pretty sure that that is the case. Cyber gets a couple of shots. I mean, look. No one gets by me. There's the single lost. I think at that point we can safely assume we have successfully beaten the mission. One loss doesn't really make that much of a difference and I don't want to abuse the fact that they will continue spawning. We could just uh, put Hogbite here and basically just enter and enter and enter uh, and put him in the middle of the sp uh, spawning round and they would never be able to kill him because with his blade storm and the I think 8 or 9 damage that he does in minimum he would kill every single one of them. So, pretty solid and fast mission. I'm trying to not prolong the missions too much, um, because that way I can maybe even get a third mission in today. If we keep this up, the aliens don't stand a chance. Commander. 184 kills. That's impressive. Okay, and soon we're going to get the sabotage results, which I like even more. There we go. Our cooperation. Look at that. His dodge has increased by 6? Oh yeah, I remember, we wanted to make him this dodge monster. So, what else do we have? What else do we have? Willpower. Uh, oh, dodge plus 10. And increased combat intelligence. Oh, that's... That. That's probably the best thing at the moment. The ability points are nice as well, but six days, well, it's fast. I like the promotion aspect, but 12 days is too long. A lot of health, some hacking. Aim plus four isn't bad either. You know, here aim plus four is actually a pretty solid result. Um, I think we're going to go with the ability points and uh, the combat intelligence. Oh, nine days of being tired. Well, that is unfortunate. Which means we're going to put Roby on the mission. Roby needs extra health. Don't want him wounded. And we can put another soldier onto this mission. And I think that other soldier... That other soldier could be... What, uh, which class would we need? I mean, I want to keep Mitch 
available. Yeah, we can put cyber in here as well. There won't be any ambush, so it's just 13 ability points. I like it. 10 days. When Roby's back, uh, both of them could work together again. Yeah, so right before the month end we can get the other mission with the dodge in. Because 10 dodge is a supreme reward and I really want to get that for Hawkbite. So all negative traits removed from Renven. That's good. Let's take a look. One of our soldiers still had a lot of negative traits. Wonder if it was Roby. I wonder if it was Roby. We got some more Avenger power. Three Avenger power is really, really good. Intel, Alien Alloys. Oh, we have so many Alien Alloys already. I say we rather... Oh, we don't have the supplies to build there. Hmm, okay. That stinks. I remember that we were a little bit cuffed when it came to the supplies we needed more money well in which case i suppose you can't have enough intel Let's start with that it's 50 intel 50-ish intel so that's not bad nice we got some supplies alloys and finally, that's the last room right there. No, there's one more down here. So yeah, I don't know. We don't necessarily need to build something right now. The resistance communication would be the obvious choice, but then again, we can still upgrade this resistance communication. We could also put um, an engineer in here, so... Let's instead use our engineers on others, uh, on other tasks. So we got 250 supplies. I'm just wondering what can I do for you, Commander? What the priorities are going to look like. Having an upgraded Reaper weapon, great. Having the fu fusion X uh, upgraded, also not bad. Both of that is actually pretty good. Don't need uh, this here. The blade has low priority. The bulb has no priority. I'm waiting for Mark III, so we don't need to upgrade twice. It's probably the Reaper for now. The issue is we're actually really short on cash. And I'm wondering if this year is better or building a Wrath suit. Uh, let's start with the weapon upgrade. So Shadow Lance it is. Next one would be the Fusion Axe. And we even got some more upgrades here in the Guerrilla Tactic School that we haven't used yet. Plus we would need to build the tower in North America. We are just broke. Let's 
Let's see. Hidden event. A lot of supplies. Protect the device. Not going to happen. Thank you. Although we can see all enemies, still no thank you. Engineer, which we don't need. The spider and fly is not a bad a dark event. Oh, and the colonel specialist for free. Uh, and barrier is a really bad event. So I think we're going for the East African mission here. Just to get that nice little specialist. <sighs> but I need to think about how we are actually going to approach that mission. Might as well be a bit more difficult than just running in there. I'll figure that out until the next time, guys. For now, I'll leave you with this uh, nice little screen, as well as a thank you for uh, watching the episodes so regularly. If you enjoyed it, as always, leave a comment down below and like, uh, because uh, that will further promote the channel. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye-bye.